every single supplier and save it to your phone. Mm -hmm. If you want to make big money in, in the energy game, you have to do that. Every person in my team has their 1-800 numbers in their phone. If they don't, obviously you're not serious about making big time residual income. You want to make chunk change. You want to make hobby money. If you want to make big money in the energy game, big money in the merchant service game, you have to know what the other competition is doing. You have to know the number. Next slide. Delmarva, same thing. Delmarva.com. You can go to supplier. You can find all the information as well. Okay, for people in Delaware. Now, if someone's already with energy supplier, here's your step. Number one, find out which supplier you're with. It's usually written right on the back of their bill. Okay, how many of you guys have some sample bills with them at all times? Yes. Yeah. It's just some sample bills. I already, I always carry around bills, just so that they are confident that oh, this guy, has right. got a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of energy bills. I always carry on a folder. You don't believe me? Oh. <laughs> These are all my happy customers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smith, I'm not even sure if this qualifies, to be honest with you. I'm using you. For, I'm doing you a favor. Make sense? Mm -hmm. I'm the consultant. That's the posture that I have. Next thing you want to do, call the supplier right on the spot. Find out what program they signed up for. Mm -hmm. I don't even ask them. Who'd you sign up with? Direct Energy? Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Mr. Smith. I own the... Um, Chicken fried rice store here, down here in Baltimore. Okay, great. Um, my phone number is so-and-so, my address is so-and-so. Oh, you need the last word, my social? Okay, no problem. Okay, three, four, six, eight. Fantastic, what's the rate that I'm on right now? Oh, 10.6, wow, okay, great. And do I have a cancellation fee? No, okay, great. <laughs> well, I do have a cancellation Oh, when's my contract then? Next year, January? Okay, perfect, fantastic. Thank you so much, boom. And then I consult the customer. Mr. Smith, you're on 10.6 until January of next year. You're locked in. So let's not mess with it now. But is it okay if I follow up with you in December to make sure I can get you as a customer? Yes. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. I never cry. Even if someone's with another company and they're in a locked in contract, I always tell them what? Great. <laughs> That's fantastic. You know why? Because I, the hard part's already done. They're already sold that third-party energy yes, suppliers yes, exist. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's a mind shift. Mm -hmm. Mind shift. If they're not on a contract, next slide, next slide. Find out if they're accepted. If there's no, if there is, write them a contract entity. If there's not, sign them up. Mm -hmm. You can acquire them as a customer yes. right away on the spot. If someone's with Direct Energy, do they have to cancel Direct Energy to come to Zoom Energy? No. No. All they have to do is sign up for Zoom Energy. Zoom Energy does all that back-end work for you. Does that make sense? Yes. So all you have to do is find out if there's a cancellation fee, is there a contract on it, that's it. Okay, next slide. Budget billing, how many of you guys have dealt with budget billing here before? A lot of people are like, oh my God, my aunt's with budget billing, she's in some kind of special doesn't, government doesn't matter. Uh, program, she doesn't make a lot of income, so the government's helping her out. How many of you guys know some people that are like that? Yeah, yeah I, I run to all of them, right? <laughs> This is how you deal with it. A lot of people look like this. Next slide. They look like that. Okay? All you have to do, very, very simple, sign them up online. Next step, call Zoom Energy customer service after you sign them up, obviously, not right away, because their system has to clear. Make sense? So give it a couple of days. Next slide. Sign up for Zoom Energy budget billing. A lot of people in ACN don't know this because you haven't been on the energy webinar. There's budget billing through Zoom Energy. Yes. There's government assistant program through Zoom Energy. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Don't lose customers because they're already signed up with budget billing. Mm -hmm. Explain to them that we have budget billing internally ourselves. Mm -hmm. Next slide. If the decision maker's not here, this is priceless what I'm about to tell you. If the owner is not there, hey, Mr. Smith is not here today, Josh is not here today, Peter's not here today, what's going on? Leave a manager or employee with a flyer and a business card, and here's a million dollar tip. Tell them that the business owner has been waiting for this. Yes. If you don't say that, the flyer is going where? To the trash. I always tell them, even though Mr. Smith hasn't been waiting for it, I say, Mr. Smith has been waiting for this from me. He's been waiting for me to give it to them. Does that make sense? Yes. I would say that. Then, Ask for info, politely, if they heard, there's a business card, grab it. Like for example, I came here to the hotel today, no one has peaked the general manager for their energy bill. Wow. This hotel 
is a privately owned hotel. It's not a franchise. This is not Hilton. This is not, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. No one has talked to the general manager about gas and electric. How much do you think this hotel pays for gas and electric? Mm. A lot of money. I guarantee you it's not $10,000, maybe even more, because it has a restaurant attached to it. And the refrigerators are running, running, running. Crazy, right? Treat the manager employees as, as if they're the owner. You never know if the gatekeeper is the wife. It might be the son. How many of you know that family run businesses, they, you know, it's family members running the business. It might be the nephew, right? So treat every person that you come in contact with as if they're the decision maker. Because if, they, if they're pissed off by your actions, guess what? Your chances of getting that energy customer is gone. Gone, so treat everybody. And then the last thing, follow up. Last thing is follow up. Have a system. Put it in your smartphone. How many of you guys have smartphones? Majority of you guys do. If you don't have a smartphone, just put it in your planner. It's okay. I have both. I remind myself alerts. So I forget. Life gets in the way. I'm running a business, right? But I love it when an alert pops up on my phone. The grocery store down the street, energy contract is coming up next week. And in my mind, I'm like, yes. I would have forgotten about that. I want to be able to follow up with that. So have a system in your cell phone, in your devices, and make money off of it. Next slide. Here's your tip. If you want to get 100 energy customers this year, in the next couple of months, next couple of weeks, and some of you guys will, I promise you that, Aaron Bird and I, we talked about this, coalition is going nuts with energy acquisition right now because you guys are educated. You guys are dangerous <laughs> in a good way, right? Always ask this question. Are there any other employees here that could benefit from this? Are there any other locations that you have, Mr. Smith? Are there any other properties that you own? Because guess what? Business owners, they own what? Other businesses. They have multiple real estates. They have employee homes, right? They have all these properties. So ask. This is how you turn one customer to 10. I went to a dry cleaner once. I got not only the dry cleaner, but I got every employee in there, plus the dry cleaner owners for real estate properties. One day, one setting. One hour. One point turned into 20 some points. Like this. Make sense? Yes. You have to ask the question. Next line. Ask for a referral. Who do you know? Do you have any other business contact that would benefit from this? Do you know anyone else that could support my business? Ask the question. The person who asks the question the most will make the most money. I never sign up a customer and just say, yes, and then walk out. That's a newbie mistake. You always want to ask for referral. Mm -hmm. Referral. How do you think I got 400 customers? Because I know 400 business owners? No. Mm -hmm. I got I asked for referrals. And guess what? It's like, Steve, you know what? I really like you. Look, matter of fact, my, my cousin owns a nail salon right down the street. Go talk to him. I'll, give, I'll put her in a good word. Boom. Customer. Guess what I did when I went to the cousin? Hey, do you know anybody else? Yeah, yeah. yeah I got a best friend who owns that. Uh, you know that flower shop over there? Yeah, the flower shop? I go there. Just go over there. I got you. <laughs> Close. <laughs> guess what? Every business owner that I close, I always close their what too? Home. Yes. Double dip. Both. Mm -hmm. Okay? Next slide. Think like a big business owner, and this is probably one of the last slides, guys. Don't cry if you can't get every customer in the business as 